right now, I'm joined by Manish Kumar and John Sweeney from SolidWorks. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, Manish, you were just on general session. Everybody at home who had tuned in had an opportunity to see it. You had a really cool opportunity to talk about 3D Experience Works. Tell us uh, a little bit what that was like in front of the audience of very enthusiastic users out there to kind of share what, some of the stuff we're working on. Well, it, to me, it is always a beautiful experience because when you go in front of that crowd, it's a friendly crowd. I know people, I know faces in that crowd. It's not like an unfriendly crowd. In fact, while I was trying to do a live demo, Aaron was trying to make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Joe from Halliburton, he was supporting me. So can you believe that? Yeah, you guys look like an HDMI connection Precisely. or something like that. Yeah. Precisely. There was, a, there was a glitch and crowd was supporting me. It's an amazing feeling to be on, on the stage there. Yeah, I mean, you, gotta have, you're, you have a lot of fun. You're always riding on the edge. You wanted to go up there. You wanted to show everybody what we're doing real time, live. You were on an iPad device, wanted to show everybody the really cool technology. Like, this is real, this is now. Precisely. We wanted to have that feeling that we have confidence in our own product, where we can go in front of a live audience, in front of a huge crowd. Everyone is using the Wi-Fi. Pipe is literally yeah. choking at that point. We, we, we run into that here sometimes, actually. Precisely. <laughs> Yet, we had the confidence that this thing is going to work. Yeah. Because we have confidence in our product. It's not just a product. It's about a statement that we were trying to make. So now, Manish, you've had the unique experiences. We're starting to bring 3D Experience Works to all of our SolidWorks customers. You've been working with a lot of the other brands with inside of Dassault Systems. Tell us a little bit about what that's been like. Yeah, of course. Uh, we are working with almost everyone at this point. Platform is the basic infrastructure on top of which everything works. But the whole journey, it, it starts with, I would say, my friend John here, because John is the person in charge of SolidWorks uh, development. And he's the one who is trying to connect SolidWorks to 3D Experience Platform. Because if it is not connected to 3D Experience Platform, nothing will happen. You will not be able to use any other applications on the platform. You will not be able to save data to the platform, and so on. So, so John, how, how is your experience on this journey so yeah, far? Because John, it's yeah, John, tell us a little bit about how this whole story starts with SolidWorks as we know it today. Well, I think for the user, the, the story is about you can still use SolidWorks and connect to the platform and get all the other applications available. So we've been, the past year, we announced last year the SolidWorks 3D Experience works, and it's been, for the past year, about planning the integration points, how to make it seamless for the user, how to make it um, all the models compatible with the applications on the platform. So it's been a, it's been a whirlwind, but a lot, a lot of work this year. Well, that sounds, uh, that sounds really exciting. Uh, I mean, I, our users at home, they're probably looking at some of this stuff going, I've seen a lot of stuff in a web browser, but how does this impact me as a desktop user? I'm, you know, I'm not typically in a web browser, so how do I get my data from here to there? And that's really like what we're doing uh, by creating some of these experiences, right? It's, it's more than just, uh, working in, in one tool and going over to another tool, you're basically tying everything together, starting with SolidWorks, right? Yeah, that, that's actually a very, it's an awesome question, I would say. The value, the real value that you as a customer, when you create your data, that is the real value. The designs that you have created, that is the real value. Now, with that design, what can you possibly do? Can you, do, can you try to use that design in, in terms of do some uh, deep, uh, deep learning, in terms of doing artificial intelligence, in terms of forget about even that, can I use that data in order to use any other application out there to do things that I need to do, impact test that we just showed on the stage today. It's a very challenging problem. It's not a very uh, simple, it's a first, it's a plastic, uh, plastic, it was a plastic model, plastic material. It was a nonlinear, very large deformation. The shape was, it was a shell, it, it was not easy to mesh. So we could not explain all that in all possible details, but we wanted to show to the people who are dealing with that kind of challenge today that if you are a SolidWorks user creating that kind of product, we have all possible solutions for you now with which you can 
literally your sky is the limit. Imagination is the limit now. They now have access to those Samulia tools that are industry leading tools that are going to be able to change the way that they can look at and validate their designs now. Exactly. So other examples you showed, you showed uh, some really cool machine learning stuff, which I found to be really interesting. Things that are going to like take a a lot of time out of my day and allow me to focus on innovation as opposed to figuring out how to add that fillet or create that shape. You're letting the tools themselves kind of drive, drive my design, right? Uh, precisely. We have been on this trend for a couple of years now, but now our efforts are starting sh to show up because to, to do deep analysis or to do artificial intelligence in order to do recognition of faces or objects, it's very easy. Those kind of, the hardest part is to identify what is the problem that you can possibly apply this new technology to. And is that problem relatable to our users? If you look at the very simple thing that we showed yesterday in John Paulo's demo, he was selecting one edge of that gear and all the edges were selected. He was selecting one edge, even today when we showed it was one edge on a very simple part but it had multiple holes. If you had to select all those edges one by one, imagine the number of clicks you would have to do, number of times you have to rotate, time. number of times. And then you miss some. Precisely, and then you have to go back. <laughs> yeah. So we focused on what is the most important aspects, what is the most painful aspects that you are dealing with today, and how can we apply technology in order to solve that problem? We have in our, uh, in our laundry list of issues, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of things that we are trying to think about, how to use the latest technology, machine learning, cloud, in fact, even platform to solve the, those problems. You'll, you'll hear way more than what you heard today. Yeah, it's really exciting. You know, one of the things uh, being inside, it's, it's like every five weeks we're getting a whole host of new tools, new machine learning tools, new features that are being added into the software. You know, one of the things that I, I find really interesting is, is uh, you know, the, it's been there since the beginning, the, the idea of super features and like right away from the very beginning, we're like totally thinking of a different way to work. The single modeling environment, all these different ways really change the way that a, a designer and an engineer can think about design. You agree, right? And <laughs> yeah. you have been using these features yourself. Yeah. So yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know about it more than I do because I'm, <laughs> I'm the one who's trying to create it. You're the one who is trying to use it. Yep. So um, I want to thank you guys for being here. We have a super tight schedule, I'm being told. We actually we have a breakout session where people are going to be able to learn about some graphics uh, performance improvements inside of SolidWorks 2020. It's going to be a, uh, a breakout session with Sidrath. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to cut over to a breakout session where you're going to be able to see that. And make sure to stay tuned until the end, because if you remember, yesterday we got to see some technology previews of what's coming up. So stay tuned, and we'll be back here in the studio later.